your kids suffering from tech neck? It can be quite painful and we have some suggestions from the experts at the Joint Chiropractic. And what you need to know on how to protect and treat your kids from so-called tech neck, we'll explain. Well, more and more kids are developing severe neck pain caused by looking down on screens for too long. Now, experts call this tech neck. Whether it's that, carrying backpacks, pain can be quite troublesome. So Dr. Helena Krupa from the Joint Chiropractic joining us now with uh, some information and some tips on avoiding some of these issues. So tech neck, it, it's not surprising that this is an issue. What is kind of surprising me is that younger patients are experiencing this. So what is causing this tech neck? Well, what is causing uh, tech neck is the repetitive stress that we put on our spine by handling our devices. Okay. So um, what are some of the things that you guys are seeing at the Joint Chiropractic in terms of injuries or complaints that people have? Mm -hmm. Because we may be suffering out there and not know that this is the cause of it. Exactly. So we're seeing neck pain, upper back pain, even headaches sometimes. Really? Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what should we be doing? You brought your smartphone in to kind of indicate uh, what we should be doing to avoid it because obviously these cell phones aren't going anywhere. They're going to be mm -hmm. a part of a permanent fixture of our lives. So what can we be doing to avoid this? Um, so one of the things that we can do with our phones is that we can um, pay attention to our posture. Posture mm -hmm. is really important so that we don't strain uh, our neck when we're on our devices. Okay. So what do we tend to do? We tend to go and text with our thumbs right. and look down. Right. And we flex our neck forward. So I didn't even notice. We, wow. Okay. Right, because we're looking down and we're we're texting. So mm -hmm. that flexed position causes us to have extra. 50 pounds of pressure on the muscles in the back of our neck. Wow. And so that's, that's ultimately what causes the pain and okay. the strain on the muscles and the ligaments. Okay. So what we want to do, which is most of us, you know, have to develop this new habit, right. is to pick up our phone mm -hmm. to just below eye level. Just below eye level. Okay. And uh, text with our index finger. Why the, what is, what is the difference between using the thumb and the index finger? Well, it's easier to, to hold it this way. And uh -huh. also it forces you to bring the phone up. Okay. Okay. And, um, you know, there's strain in the arms as well when we're using our devices. Right. Okay. So bring it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now you've also brought a backpack in because one of the other things, and we've known about this for a number of years, is that maybe putting too much weight or maybe not the right backpack can cause back pain. Is that right? In children, yes. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, topics because I have two young children. Mm -hmm. And so I'm always uh, advocating for backpack safety. Okay. So there are three things that you want to look for in a backpack mm -hmm. so that it is safer for your child okay. because it distributes the weight more evenly in their delicate and still developing spine. Right. So what are those things that we should be looking so for? So what we want to have in a backpack is wide straps. Wide straps? Wide okay. straps. And we want to have adjustable straps Okay. because some kids are taller, you know, some uh, of our little ones are shorter. Mm -hmm. We want a strap that would come around uh, the waistline Okay. Okay. to support the weight. Okay. And one of the things that you want to remember is not, uh, to weigh your child, mm -hmm. and the backpack should not weigh more than 10 to 15 percent of their body weight. Okay, 10 to 15 percent mm -hmm. of their body weight. Okay, so loading up that backpack, be very mindful of what you're putting in there. So I know my daughter, she's got now folders, she's mm -hmm. got notebooks, her lunch, all of the stuff that goes in there, mm -hmm. and then a water bottle, that can add a lot of weight to it. Absolutely. Okay. And what also helps is having compartments, little. Um, pockets okay. all over the backpack to so, to distribute the weight. Okay. Now mm -hmm. before we run out of time, doctor, I want to get this in because I've used the joint chiropractic before. I had great mm -hmm. service there. If we find ourselves in need of your service, we got the tech neck, we've thrown our back out for some reason, our backpack, mm -hmm. how do we set up an appointment? Can we just walk into you guys? Can we, can we give you a call? You can absolutely give us a call, but uh, we are on, we work on a walk-in basis, so you okay. can just stop by one of our clinics and we'll be um, happy to okay. take care they, of you. And they do, guys. I can advocate for this. I went to the West Side one right near the Sprouts. Mm -hmm. Great staff there took care of my problem. Mm -hmm. uh, great stuff, and the rates are very reasonable, too. I got to say, I absolutely loved coming to you guys. If you guys want more information on the Joint Chiropractic and you want to revisit some of these things to avoid a bad backpack and bad tech neck, head over to foxnewmexico.com.